in the continual search for the best 50 yard 20 gauge wild pheasant load we have a late entry and this is Remington Wingmaster HD ounce and an eighth payload 1300 feet per second number four shot is billed as having a density of 12 grams per cubic centimeter on the Remington website it says 11.6 so it's not that much more dense than lead. I think Remington calls it 6% uh, greater density than lead. It's also number four, which is going to reduce the pellet count substantially versus number five or number six. So something tells me I would like this load better if they had gone with number six shot. Nevertheless, we have fresh paper set up at 50 and one half yards. So is one of my favorite 20 gauge Upland guns, 20 gauge auto loaders. It's a vintage Browning B80 with a 26 inch barrel. True lock, modified, precision hunter, extended choke. And we're at 50.5 yards. So let's see. So let's see what kind of pattern we can get out of Wingmaster HD. That's actually pretty good. A little bit better than I thought for 50 yards. I could squeeze down that pattern a little bit by going with an improved modified. But that'll certainly do it at 50 yards. So I would certainly anticipate greater pattern density with Wingmaster HD number six rather than number four because it's not a full ounce and a quarter payload as I would use for lead in number four, but actually it's pretty good. So let me change paper. I'll do a, a little comparison. Of course, uh, there are a lot of variables here, gun to gun, choke to choke. But actually, this is pretty good. So, let me compare this uh, to another surprisingly good load, which is um, Winchester Superfield, one ounce number fives. Well, like anything else, you're going to want to uh, compare shells in your gun with your choke at the ranges that you're going to want to shoot at. But this is uh, an overachieving load in my estimation considering this is Winchester Diamond Grade Super Pheasant and it's only a one ounce load. One ounce of number fives. So I really love this for a one ounce lead load out of a 20 gauge. In fact I have never seen anything better at 50 yards. And this is a shot out of a fab arm with a 7-10 choke. Fab arm Elos, uh, Elos 2 Elite. But that is an excellent pattern. Now the Remington out of a modified choke out of the B80 that did extremely well. I mean there's actually more pellets in what I would call the kill zone and with a number four pellet that's slightly more dense with lead you've got better penetration you can break bones better and the larger the pellet the larger the wound channel so uh, heavier payload ounce and an eighth but then again number four pellet so the pellet count 
is not all that great, but I think it did very, very well. I would hunt with either load. Obviously, if you're going to hunt with lead, from a price standpoint, uh, even though there's hardly a factor, two wild roosters a day, but if you're looking at an economical uh, load based on performance, you go with the Winchester Superfield, one ounce and 20 gauge. Uh, ideal. Is the Remington Wingmaster HD better? I would say yes, it clearly is. But it also has a substantially better price. Far, far more expensive. But the reason for this load would be waterfowl or areas where you cannot use lead. You want to go uh, non-tox or at least what is legislated as being no tox. So, your choice, but excellent load. I mean, 50 yards out of a 20 gauge, that's, uh, you know, that's dead pheasant every time. And uh, there's no problem. I have no problem hunting with that. It may, uh, I think it would certainly be uh, suitable at least out to 55 yards. I wouldn't uh, presume 60, but I would call it a good 55 yard load. And uh, number four pellets carry farther. No question about that. Re regardless of shot type, as long as you use the same shot type, fours uh, do beat. Number six is by a mile, and they outperform number fives as well. But enough is enough, so five lead has always been the best compromise for me. So, good job by Remington, but I can see that is uh, it's pretty darn good. So, I'll throw up the pellet counts, but uh, for hunting no tox for wild pheasants, two shots a day. Yeah, there's no reason not to use uh, these Remington Lowe's. They, they are excellent.